Hello! It's been a while that I did a progress log, but it is time again. And warning, I want to do less or no cuts in this one, okay? So if it's a bit too slow paced, this is probably not the video for you. <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing a progress log again is I have thoughts to share. I'm having doubts. And as a friend, as a friend of mine put it so well, it, she was like, again? Which did put things into perspective. Uh, I'm glad she said that because I was very, you know, into those feelings of like, ah, oh, doubt, should I do this or that? And then she pointed out, hey, you're going through this again. <laughs> and I think I will go through this a lot in my life, so I don't need to take it too serious. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to start off with. So, I had a lot of free time this week, and <laughs> I was hoping to create better and more videos because of that, but no, the opposite happened. The thing. I always <laughs> get trapped into happened. I started overthinking. I was like, okay, there's so much time this week. Let's make an awesome video. And I've had several ideas and I scrapped most of them <laughs> or they're in the backlog. Maybe I'll make them later because I'm like, no, this is, this is not the direction I want to take the channel. And oh, it can be better. And, uh, I think what I'm struggling with right now is a lot of ideas I had are ideas that like are like I think these can get a lot of views and I, <laughs> the, the amount of views it could get is the main priority and secondary is if it's interesting to me or not and I mean all the ideas are interesting to me I mean, I think I should change the priority, right? I think my interest should be put first and then maybe see if it can be get views or not. Um, one thing I think I want to do less of is like titles or videos I do where I'm like directly giving advice because Honestly, I don't always know all the answers. I do know what works for me, but I don't want to be like, hey, this is the answer, because it might not be the answer for you. And I mean, that doesn't mean I can't share it. It can still be useful to hear other people's perspectives, but something feels off. It, it feels not as authentic to me and I want to be more authentic. I think my biggest fear of those types of videos, those types of videos is that I'll attract people that don't, that I don't align with. And one of my main intentions for this channel is attracting and gathering like-minded people. And if I create a video like success might be easier than you think, which I did a couple of weeks ago, then I might attract people who only care about success. Uh, and you know, the standard definition of success, right? Popularity, views, um, money, stuff like that. And um, yeah, I wanna make sure that I attract the right people. I think I want to attract more, no, I want to create more stories because what I've been doing is, okay, what kind of channel want I create? And I've been looking at lots of other channels from their channel page to their video ideas and be like, okay, is this something I can relate to? I think the closest I can relate to is people sharing their stories and the lessons they learn from them. 
I think I align with that best. Instead of like directly giving those lessons, I think I'd enjoy it more if I share like a story and then either share the insights or people can get the insights from them just by hearing the story and they make their own, they make their own interpretation. So, but then, you know, the self-doubt creeps in, like, do I have interesting stories to share? And of course you have interesting stories to share, Ruben. So, yeah, is this, is this it? Is this the end of the video? I think it just might be. Um, yeah, look forward to my stories. Okay, okay, let's not end this. There are, there are still things I want to say. This is a mess of a video, but you gotta stick with this. It's gonna be authentic and it's my luck. I can do what I want. Um, one thing that's also been bothering me is, like, it's funny. So I wanted to get away from the progress logs because I'm like, oh, I wanna do more than this. This is boring, just talking to the camera. And it's funny that I now need to talk just to the camera again. Uh, and one of the reasons was also like, I wanna be more creative with the thumbnails. And I started doing that and I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> Because now my channel looks kind of like a messy mix of several channel thumbnails stick together. And I want to create unity again. So in the upcoming videos, I'm going to try to get thumbnails to look well together again. And also I might go back to some previous videos and fix those thumbnails. Uh, one annoying thing though is I really liked my last video where I, you know, the thumbnail is literally the start of the video. And I honestly think it's a opportunity. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised not a lot of YouTube or maybe any YouTubers do this kind of thumbnail, but now that I think about it, it actually, maybe I understand it because you're really not flexible. Like I can go back now and change that thumbnail, right? Uh, which is quite limiting. So yeah, I wanted to do more of that, but I'm probably not gonna do because it's too limiting. Um, okay, I think I said what I wanted to share now. I have doubts, but apparently this is happening again and again. So it's okay, Ruben. And you who is watching, if you have doubts, it's okay. It's probably happened before in your life. You'll get through it and don't take it too serious. Okay. Thank you for watching this far. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.